Tomorrow will mark 86 years since the deadliest school disaster in America, and it happened right here in East Texas. March 18th, 1937, the new London school in Rust County exploded, killing around 300 people, most of them children. A tragedy still being remembered 86 years later. At the Cenotaph in New London, 294 crosses represent the lives lost on March 18th, 1937, when a spark from a shop sander ignited natural gas leaking beneath the New London School. It tells a story about the resilience of people in the area. For over 20 years, John Davidson has shared the tragic story with those who visit the New London Museum. People who come in here that, that have never been in here are awed by the, the amount of things we have in here from the explosion days. Among the items on display, a piece of the dress John's 14-year-old sister was wearing when she died in the explosion. She was only child. My mother and dad were 40 years old. They weren't going to have any more kids. I came along three years later and I was only child. So in reality, if this hadn't happened, I wouldn't have been born. Ardeth Davidson was among the 270 students confirmed to be killed in the explosion. Their deaths would not be in vain. And because of what happened here that day, they added the odor to natural gas, a man-made chemical called Mercaptan, supposed to smell like a million skunks. It never made it. It missed it by one skunk. And you'll never get over that smell if you ever smell it. A smell that has saved more lives than we'll ever know from the same fate of those at the New London School on March 18, 1937. And the annual memorial service to commemorate the tragedy is set to happen tomorrow afternoon. It's set to begin at 2.45 tomorrow afternoon at the Cenotaph in New London, followed by a reception at the museum, which will be offering free tours all day long.